What is going on everybody? Today in this video I'm going to show you how to turn the GoPro Hero 8 into a USB webcam that will work with your Macintosh coming up after this. What is up everybody? My name is Nelson and on this channel I do technology and photography based tips, tricks and tutorials. I've got lots of awesome content coming up in the future so if you are new here please consider subscribing. Okay guys, GoPro just recently released beta firmware for the Hero 8, allowing it to be used as a USB webcam for Macintosh. There is a Windows version currently in development, but until then this only works on the Mac. So I'm going to show you how to manually update the software on the camera, then we are going to install the desktop application and I'm going to show you how it works. So let's head on over there and check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is upgrade the firmware on the camera. To do that, go ahead and fire up your browser, and you're going to go to this web page, and I will provide the link in the description below, but you're going to go here under step one, and you're going to click on download GoPro webcam beta firmware. Once that has completed, navigate to your downloads, and you're going to be looking for this HD 8.01.01.90.10, and it's a zip file, so go ahead and double click it to unzip it, and you're going to be left with this folder here. So go ahead and double click this and within that folder you'll find this update folder. And it's real simple guys, what we're going to do is we're actually going to drag this update file onto the root of the micro SD card that we're going to be inserting into the GoPro. Mine is called No Name, yours will obviously be different more than likely, but I'm going to go ahead and drag this folder into No Name. Okay, now that that's completed, we're going to go ahead and eject the micro SD card. Now that I have the micro SD card ejected, we are going to insert it into the camera. And now we're going to power on the GoPro. You'll see this little download icon appear. Takes a minute or so to update. Okay, the update is complete, so let's head back over to the Macintosh and let's install the USB software. Okay, so you're going to head back to the same web page that I have included the link to in the description below. And now you're going to go to step two and download the GoPro webcam desktop utility. Once that downloads, go ahead and open your downloads up. Double click GoPro webcam beta software. Now here's the introduction. Go ahead and click on continue. Select your destination and hit continue. And go ahead and click install. Type in your password. And click install software. When this software finishes installing, you must restart your computer. Are you sure you would like to install? Go ahead and click continue installation. The installation was successful. Go ahead and click on restart. Okay, so now that the computer is restarted, you will notice up here that you have a little icon that looks just like a GoPro. So the next thing to do is connect the GoPro to the USB port and turn it on. All right, plugging in the GoPro now. And we should see a little blue icon appear up here if it has detected the GoPro. And there's the icon. So now go ahead and click on this. And you can click on Preferences and select between 1080p and 720p. Obviously, I'm going to leave it on 1080p. And now if you click on the icon again and you click Show Preview, we can see if it is working. Bam, there it is. There I am. All right, let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and open up Zoom and see if we can get it to work in Zoom. All right, clicking New Meeting. Okay, so it's going to default to using the EyeSight camera. So in order to change it to the GoPro, down here where it says Stop Video, there's a little up arrow. Go ahead and click on it. And right below FaceTime HD Camera, click on the GoPro webcam. And there it is. Actually looking uh, pretty decent. Not bad for a webcam. 
All right, guys, now you are rocking a sweet webcam in the GoPro Hero 8. If you found this useful, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you don't have a GoPro Hero 8 yet, I will leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. All right, take care.